Hey you guys and welcome to another video. So today po is I'm going to share to you guys my experience po sa first month ko po sa law school as a second year student. So if you're interested then please keep on watching. By the way, I'm Jeremiah and I upload law school and law student related vlogs. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to click subscribe and click notification bell sa tabi ng subscribe or you can just simply click the click here na circle dyan sa my corner. So let's get to the video. Okay guys, so uh, welcome nga po to my channel and yes po, disclaimer lang po before I begin, uh, I'm just sharing my personal experience po sa one month ko po sa second year as a law student. I'm not generalizing all second year students. I'm not sure kung parehas ba kami experience or sa kanila iba din. So I'm just sharing to you my personal experience po so far. And yes, I'm not complaining. I'm just, I just want to, to state facts and kung ano nga po yung na-experience ko. So please, don't don't get me wrong, okay? Now, I will give you a little background, especially po sa mga first time po sa channel ko po. I am currently a second year na law student. Tapos po, I am currently working full time as a college instructor and also a regular student sa law school. So currently, we have eight subjects. So if I'm going to compare that one sa mga previous sem ko po sa law school nung first year ako, we only had I think six subjects per sem. And for this sem na second year na ako, mas ma marami na akong subjects for this sem as a regular student so we we already have 8 subjects po for this sem so yung classes po namin is from Monday to Saturday sa weekdays po like Monday to Friday yung classes po namin is from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. tapos po during Saturdays during the weekend yung pasok po namin yung classes po namin is from 8 in the morning up to 4 in the afternoon so yun po yung parang short background sa second year ko po and yes po let me just add purely online classes kami this same kasi nga po dahil din sa pandemic. So I think not a lot but I think all of the universities right now sa Philippines are conducting online classes and I think most of us are following also the asynchronous na, na method sa delivery ng classes natin. So yun po. Okay now, so let's proceed po to the topic. So, so far po sa first month ko po sa law school as a second year law student, ang masabi ko lang po talaga is sobrang grabe. Grabe talaga, grabing stress and grabing stressful talaga at saka grabing challenging po. So far, nasa one month pa lang po ako sa second year, pero grabe po, sobrang stressful and sobrang challenging po talaga ng experience so far. Again, I'm not complaining po, I'm just stating facts. Napaka-stressful niya po talaga and napaka challenging. Siguro din po, inisip ko na lang na siguro baka nanibago ako kasi nga po nasa online classes kami tapos never ko pa po na-experience yung online classes kasi nga before nag-start yung quarantine or yung lockdown nung March, eh natapos na rin yung pasok namin for second sim nung first year. So hindi talaga namin na-experience yung online classes. Unlike po sa other universities o baka kayo po na-experience nyo po yung online classes nung March. Pero kami kasi hindi pa namin na-experience so ngayon medyo nanibago ako sa, sa sistema tapos medyo parang mabilis yung mga pangyayari tapos maraming kailangan gawin maraming kailangan isubmit, maraming kailangan i-check kung may mga announcement pa so for me it's very stressful and very challenging din po talaga. I think din po nakadagdag po sa stress kasi di ba matagal yung naging naging rest na naging rest po natin from March up to August or until now di ba naka-quarantine pa rin tayo or naka-lockdown so mahaba-haba talaga yung panahon na parang wala akong ginaw ginawa, wala akong ginawang readings or advanced readings or any school related activities so parang yung body ko, yung utak ko parang kailangan na namang mag adjust like I had to start from square one, like yung adjustment talaga and isa pa, nung una talaga inisip ko din na, uy, I'm going to become a second year student, so I think yung second year, medyo ayos na lang yung adjustment because yun nga, sinabi ko na natapos ko yung first year na parang parang maayos, tapos wala na akong naging problema masyado, so I said na, okay, naka-adjust ako sa first year so I think makaka-adjust ako isi sa second year. But I was wrong po. Mas grabe po yung experience ko ngayon sa second year compared po sa first year. Nakadagdag din po sa adjustment ko kasi nga po, di ba, I'm a college instructor. Yung school din po namin kung saan ako nagtatrabaho is nagtatransition din po sa online classes. So, kung dati nung first year, du during sa old normal po natin, di ba, sa face-to-face -face na classes, so mas relax po yung katawan ko tsaka yung utak ko kasi wala akong masyadong sinasubmit na mga documents. We were not required to submit documents like every week. But for now, 
now for online classes, like every week I had to submit documents, modules, tapos reports. So inisip ko, patay next week, kailang ko na naman gumawa ng, ng report for my for my work. Tapos may kailangan pa kong habulin sa online classes ko sa law school. So yun nga, mas stressful talaga siya, tsaka mas challenging. Sa of you po, siguro will not believe na I'm very stressed and very, very challenged po for this sem. Kasi nga po, most of you din po nagsasabi na tumaba ako, which I will not deny. Kasi tumaba din talaga ako, lumaki ako. But to tell you po, hindi po ako lumaki kasi hiyang ako sa law school. But lumaki ako because of the lockdown at saka sa quarantine. So basically, this is my quarantine body. Let me just get the straight. Guys, let me just share. Nung first year po, I will be very honest, I'm a slow reader po. But nung nag-start po yung second year, I've noticed na mas slow po yung pagbabasa ko ngayon ng cases o di kaya ng book. So naapektuhan talaga yung speed ko po sa reading. Kaya isa din yun sa nakadagdag ng challenge at pressure. So yun po. So far po, sa 8 po namin ng mga subjects, wala pa sa tatlo o apat na subjects yung na-start ko po na nabasahin yung mga books, yung materials. Kasi nga po, marami akong kailangan, kailangan habulin. Marami pa akong kailangan i-adjust sa time management ko po. Kasi until now din po, wala pa akong time management. So yung pagbabasa po ng mga libro sa mga subjects, is hindi ko pa talaga nagagawa. Inuuna ko na lang yung mga audio files, so di kaya yung mga video lectures po na pinopost ng aming mga professors kaysa po sa mga book. Talagang ang dami ko pong hinahabol ngayon na naka-online classes talaga. And guys, let me just add in, in a span of 3 weeks po sa second year December, binigyan na kami ng almost 80 or like to be 78 cases to be exact na kailangan i-digest and we were able to, to to submit naman before the deadline or on the deadline. Talagang ang dami talagang kailangan habulin talaga this SEM. Kaya nag-build up talaga yung stress tsaka yung challenge. Again, I'm not complaining po. Kasi yung case digest, to be honest, I'm not sure if some of you naka-appreciate po sa case digest but I really appreciate case digesting because may mga points po sa topics namin sa subjects na hindi ko talaga maintindihan. But once na magbasa ka po ng kaso ng mga jurisprudence, gagawa ka po ng mga case stages. ba kailangan mong basahin yun. So, dun po sa mga ruling, ini-explain po dun kung ano po ang application ng topic namin dun sa mga kaso na yun. So, in a way po, I learn uh, things po through case digesting. It's a, I think, I would say, nakatulong din talaga ang pagkikase stages for me to learn about the topic. Ngayon po, yung utak ko talaga maraming hinahabol. I, I, I'm not sure if you can if you can relate to this. But if your professors, diba, usually sa mga professors natin, they they post like their materials, mga PDF, mga PowerPoints, mga audio files, mga video discussion po sa Google Classroom. I'm not sure if you're using Google Classroom as well, but we are using Google Classroom. The fact po na parang inisip ko na, okay, nasa Google Classroom sila, then I can just open them anytime. So, nang, nangyayari po is, parang yung level of procrastination ko po for the past month, for this SEM, talagang mas mataas po yung procrastination ko talaga. Kasi inisip ko, Okay, pwede ko naman siyang buksan mamaya or, or later or baka bukas pwede ko siyang buksan. So yun po, so ngayon, ang tendency is marami, marami akong backlogs, marami akong kailangang habulin. Regarding sa time management guys, I've been trying to set like time management para po hatiin ko po yung time for my work kasi naka-work from home din po ako. So I, I plan to like to set some time like everyday for my work and for law school. Pero nangyayari kasi, yun nga sa sinabi ko kasi nga maraming tumatakbo sa utak ko na Uy, kailangan ko pang tapusin yung, yung digest. Kailangan ko pang tapusin yung reading, yung mat material dun sa Google Class. So, imbis na yung time na sinet ko po for my work, inisip ko, ala, may hindi pa ako nagawa. So, madadivert na naman yung gagawin ko. So, yung tendency talaga is parang palagi akong may hinahabol mula nung nag-start yung second year. It added like big time talaga sa, sa challenge and saka sa stress na nafe-feel ko po for now. But again, I'm not complaining, okay? So far po, uh, thankful din talaga ako na kahit papano kung marami mang stress o marami mang challenges eh naka work from home ako so ibig sabihin hindi ako talaga physically like buong katawan ko pagod hindi ako kailangan pumunta sa work magtrabaho o di kaya gumising ng maaga para sa work like yung physical talaga na ano ba na natrabaho so hindi ko siya kailangan gawin so talagang malaking tulong din siya actually so far din po sa experience ko sa second year cause at least kung, kung pagod man yung utak ko marami man akong iniisip at least yung katawan ko is hindi 
siya ganun kapagod. And, and lastly guys, I'm not sure if you experience this one also. Yung feeling po na parang wala ka namang ginagawa na mabibigat for the entire day, nasa bahay ka lang. But yung katawan mo, pagising mo the next day, sobrang pagod. I'm not sure if you experience this one. Yung mata ko po, yung parang may nagbiblink dito sa ano, dito sa banda, sa, sa, sa baba ng mata ko po, nagbiblink siya. I asked my friend, the nurse, and according to her, na that's a sign of stress daw talaga. So yun po, talagang na-confirm ko na medyo challenge ako so far. Mula nung nag-start yung law school ko po as second year law student. So yun lang guys, so far yun talaga yung pinaka-experience ko so far. So since nag-start po kami sa first sem for second year, again, I'm not complaining po, I'm just parang nagulat lang talaga din ako. Parang nag nagulat ako sa adjustment that I have to like adjust na naman from the start. So parang yun lang talaga. Again, I'm not complaining kasi nung nag-decide ako na pumasok sa law school, alam ko naman kung ano ang pinasok ko. Alam ko na this is gonna be bloody. This is, this will never gonna be easy. I'm just hoping talaga that eventually din makaka-adjust rin ako sa Uh, ganitong sistema sa online classes tapos sa trabaho ko din tapos sa mga readings I'm just really hoping for better days talaga and uh, I'm not losing hope naman na uh, itong na-experience ko is normal lang talaga for the first part of the journey so parang yun lang talaga yung ginawa kong consolation para ma ma makalma ko po yung sarili ko so yun lang guys Okay, guys, thank you for watching this video for today. Kayo po, kamusta po yung first month nyo po sa law school? If nag-start na kayo sa law school, please po, pakishare naman po, para naman po, alam ko na normal ako na, na law student and para po, malaman ko din na hindi ako nag-iisa and I want also to hear kung ano po naging challenge sa inyo, naging struggle nyo po so far, mula nung nag-start yung first sem for, for law school this year. Please po, comment those, those experiences baba. So yun lang guys, thank you for watching sa video na Again, if you like this video, just give this one a thumbs up. And again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and please click po the notification bell sa tabi na subscribe para po manotify po kayo sa mga future na videos ko po. Okay? So, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.